AP Chemistry Unit 4.2, Net Ionic Equations. So we need to balance chemical reactions. Chemical equations represent uh, chemical changes, and those changes are a result of the rearrangement of atoms into new combinations. Any representation of a chemical change must contain the same number of atoms of every element before and after the change occurred. This, demonstrate that, this demonstrates that mass is conserved, so you cannot create nor destroy um, mass or matter, and so the number of the individual elements need to be the same on both sides of the reaction arrow. The way that you are able to do this is by utilizing coefficients. Coefficients are used to change the number of each particle within the reaction. So you can change how many particles you have, but you cannot change the subscripts. The subscripts are never changed in order to balance a chemical reaction's equation. Remember that your subscripts are used to balance charges or are representative of how many of that particular element is within that specific compound. You can't change the compound's identity in order to balance a chemical equation. You can only change how many of that specific compound you have present in order to balance a chemical equation. Net ionic equations are um, going to be um, our focus for today. We have a couple of different types of equations that we're typically using. Uh, balanced molecular, complete ionic, and then net ionic equations. Uh, they are all differing symbolic forms used to represent a chemical reaction. The form used to represent the reaction depends on the context in which it is used. So whichever is going to be the most useful for the chemist is going to uh, go ahead and determine uh, which I would uh, go ahead and utilize. So balanced molecular equations are going to be uh, our typical starting point. Uh, they are what we are used to seeing and they are the type of chemical equation in which the number of atoms for each element of the reaction and the total charge is going to be the same on both sides of the reaction. And your ionic compounds are going to be expressed as compounds rather than component ions. Again, balanced chemical or molecular equations are going to be what we have typically seen as uh, chemical equations thus far. Complete ionic equations are going to be a chemical equation in which all soluble and dissolved ionic compounds are written out as separated ions. So we would, um, instead of writing the full ionic equation, we would break it down into its constituent ions. And then uh, this is compared to our net ionic equation where uh, we have a chemical equation that shows only the species that are actually involved in a chemical reaction. So if I don't form something new, I don't write it for net ionic equation. I'm going to eliminate anybody that does not change states. So no spectator ions are gonna be allowed. So for my uh, balanced molecular form, this could look something like this. So I have sodium carbonate reacting with barium nitrate forming barium carbonate and sodium nitrate. Again, we're going to look and notice that the states of the compounds uh, do change for some, but not all. I'm going to break any of the dissolved ionic compounds into their constituent ions. So the sodium carbonate, those were both uh, dissolved, they're aqueous, so i keeping balance. I had two sodiums here, so I'm going to have two sodiums here. Each sodium has a charge of positive one, so I'm representing that I have two uh, sodium ions. Each has a charge of positive one, and it is dissolved. I have one carbonate. The carbonate has a charge of negative two. I have one uh, barium. Each barium has a charge of positive two, and I had two nitrates. Each nitrate had a charge of negative one. Then I have my um, barium carbonate. My barium carbonate is no longer dissolved, so I do not break it into its constituent ions. I'm gonna leave it alone. So I'm gonna have barium carbonate just stay as it is. And then I'm gonna write um, my uh, sodium nitrate split because it is still dissolved. So my uh, two sodium ions are present and my two nitrate ions are present. And again, those are aqueous, so they remain split. And then my net ionic equation, I would just eliminate any and all elements or ions that do not change state
from my reactant to my product. So my sodium remained dissolved within the solution. It did not effectively change. It didn't form a new compound. Um, it remained in the same state that it was at the very beginning, dissolved in the solution. So sodium is no longer written in this reaction at all. Um, also the nitrate, same thing. It was um, dissolved at the beginning and it was dissolved at the end. It effectively stayed in the same exact uh, situation that it was at the beginning and at the end, so I eliminate that as well. The only things that uh, changed are going to be the carbonate and the barium. They went from aqueous to solid, and so those are the only things that are left over and the only things that I would include in my uh, net ionic equation. Um, and I did just realize that um, I accidentally forgot to include the state signifier for barium, uh, so I just went ahead and added that. That should be there in the final net ionic equation. So I've added that, um, but this would be my final answer here. Um, it is balanced, and I have eliminated any spectator ions.